1975 and 1977 graduate of East Carolina, Dan Kenny's collision course with the school that he would call home for 41 years began in 1977 when he joined Joe Gallagher's men's basketball staff as an assistant coach and professor in the health, physical education, and recreation department at then Pembroke State University. Under the direction of Gallagher in 1977 and 1978, as well as head coach Billy Lee from 1978 to 1980, the Braves combined to record 42 victories before Dan was lured away to serve as an assistant coach on Steve Cottrell's staff at Western Carolina, while also serving as cross-country head coach for the Catamounts. And I think it's sad that Dan's leaving because it's uh, UNC Pembroke's loss. He's done a lot of marvelous things here today, and I thought President Cummings said the same thing. He, he, kept, he kept me in the right direction because he was coming in from a different field, and Dan had been here. Dan had been in athletics, he'd been an assistant coach. He went to Western Carolina, he went to Winthrop. He had been around the state and the area. That's a plus. After five years in Cullowhee, Dan returned to Pembroke in 1985, but this time to take the reins of the men's basketball program and steer it through one of the most prosperous eras in program history. The Braves recorded nearly 125 victories in seven seasons under Kenny, while also staking claim to three Conference Carolinas championships. In 1990-1991, Pembroke State turned in what still stands as the best record in school history when the Braves finished with a 27-5 mark and yet another trip to the NAIA District Playoffs. I want to thank him for um, a lot of the things that have happened in my life positively, starting with you know meeting my wife the first day of school. And if he hadn't given me the opportunity to come to Pembroke and be a player, um, I don't know where I'd be. It opened up just a lifetime of opportunities and all my kids and everything that's come from the relationships that have, you know, that, that have started through him allowing me to be here. I, I can't ever repay him for giving me that opportunity. The time to say goodbye to Pembroke came again following the 1991 and 1992 campaign when he made the short trip to Rock Hill, South Carolina to serve as head coach at Winthrop. After guiding the Eagles men's basketball program for six seasons, as if by cue, Pembroke came calling again, but this time with a more prominent role. Dan's influence on Pembroke State during his previous two stints in southeastern North Carolina could not have been more evident as he became the school's eighth director of athletics in 1998, a position he would serve in for 14 years until moving to his current role in Lumbee Hall. But in many ways, Dan has been a mentor to me. Uh, one of the things I learned from Dan Kenny, uh, he's one of the most fanatically organized people I have ever been around. And secondly, he's so positive. I, I don't know what you would have to do to stop Dan from being positive, uh, and, and it's contagious. UNC Pembroke experienced a golden era of athletic competition under Kenny's watch, one that inevitably resulted in the school's highest ranking in the Learfield Sports Directors Cup standings following the 2010-2011 athletic season. UNCP's athletic teams qualified for the NCAA postseason on 21 occasions during Kenny's tenure, while being represented 50 times by individual qualifiers. An educator at heart, Kenny student athletes earned presidential honor roll honors from the league more than 1,100 times under his watch, while also capturing four PBC Student Athlete of the Year laurels. A total of 37 Braves earned national academic honors under his leadership, with another 25 being named to academic all-district or all-region squads. He's had an amazing career, he's had a fulfilling career, and he's, uh, he's changed the lives of, of thousands of, of students and alumni uh, on, on this campus. He has left his legacy here without a doubt. During his tenure as athletics director, UNCP expanded its varsity athletic program to include three more sports. The women's soccer team began playing the 2001 season, women's golf teed off for the first time during the 2006-2007 campaign, and football made its return to southeastern North Carolina on September 1, 2007. He was also at the forefront of a major fundraising movement to build support for Braves athletics. He was named the National Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics Southeast Region Athletic Director of the Year in 2006 and is the namesake for the department's Coach of the Year Award as well as an endowed scholarship. He would also go on to represent UNCP as a member of the inaugural class of the Peach Belt Conference Hall of Fame in May 2016. See, Dan is clearly a leader. He's mentored uh, an entire generation of UNCP folks um, and others as well, simply by his example, by his listening skills, by all of who he is and what he's brought to the table. 
Dan Kenny would have succeeded in any organization you would have put him in. He would have risen to the top through his ability to listen and to care for people, his work ethic, his tenacity. We're just fortunate that UNCP has been the institution where we've gotten to see the direct benefits of all of his work. For 36 years, Dan Kenny's an act to make a positive impact on everybody he came in contact with, both in and outside the world of athletics, as well as both in Pembroke and across the country, was truly evident. In November of 2012, that talent took him into a new realm of higher education as UNC Pembroke honed those talents and his abilities to be a bridge builder across campus into a position as chief of staff at the chancellor's office. For the next five years, he was able to use his coaching skills to orchestrate the university's senior leadership team. He will retire with yet another rung on his ladder of success in that position as well. Dan brings a lot of things to the organization. I think what he brings is a heart and a passion a commitment to uh, impacting the university in any way that he can. Uh, I, Dan and I talk often about the qualities of what does it mean to be a leader and I look at Dan as really the ultimate servant leader and this is a, a term that I know it's near and dear to him and uh, I think the highest compliment that anybody can pay to a leader is that characteristic. For 43 years Dan Kenny has led by example. UNC Pembroke was blessed that over 30 of those years were dedicated to the Braves in various capacities. Whether assistant basketball coach, athletics director, or interim chancellor, Dan Kenny left the people that he came in contact with better than they were before having worked with him. That is a truly special talent and one that Dan shared with so many people and will continue to share in his retirement.